Imagine this. You're cruising underwater, the deep blue stretching out endlessly, and right in front of you is the sleek, menacing figure of a shark. It looks unstoppable, slicing through the water as if it's been doing this forever. But there's a rumor swirling in the sea, if this powerful predator stops swimming, it'll die. Is that true? Let's find out. Sharks are often painted as nature's perfect hunters. But what if they had a fatal flaw, a hidden weakness no one talks about? What if all it took for a shark to meet its doom was, to stop swimming? It sounds crazy, right? The idea that this apex predator, so majestic and feared, could be so vulnerable. But this myth didn't pop out of nowhere. There's some truth lurking beneath the surface. So, do sharks actually die if they stop swimming? Here's the catch, you're both right and wrong. To unravel this mystery, let's step into the fins of the shark for a moment. Picture yourself as a great white shark, born into the ocean where movement is your best friend. You've been swimming since the moment you hatched. But it's not just for fun, it's a matter of survival. There are around 500 species of sharks out there, and not all of them are the same. Some of these guys can chill on the ocean floor, but others? They're in a constant battle to keep moving. This is where the legend of, swim or die, comes into play. Sharks need to breathe, just like you and me. But instead of lungs, they've got gills, and these gills are a bit picky. Many sharks rely on a process called ram ventilation, where they have to swim forward to push water over their gills. No swim, no breath. No breath. Well, you get the idea. But wait, there's a twist in this story. Not all sharks are stuck in this endless swimathon. Some species, like the nurse shark and certain reef sharks, have figured out a way to cheat the system. They use something called buckle pumping, where they actively pump water over their gills by using their cheek muscles. Fancy, right? These sharks can hang out at the bottom of the ocean floor, taking a breather, literally, without moving an inch. It's like they're chilling in a shark-sized hammock while their cousins, the great whites and hammerheads, are out there doing laps. Imagine the smug look on a nurse shark's face. Oh, you're still swimming? That's cute. But for many sharks, stopping isn't an option. The great white shark, perhaps the most famous of them all, can't afford to stop. For them, the ocean is like a treadmill they can never step off. If a great white stops swimming, water stops flowing over its gills, and in turn, it can't get oxygen. It's like someone pulling the plug on a life support machine. No wonder they keep going. But that's not the whole picture. There's more at stake than just breathing. Sharks rely on constant motion to regulate their body temperature. Unlike most fish, sharks are ectothermic, meaning their body temperature is controlled by the surrounding water. For some species, like the mako shark, swimming keeps their body temperature higher than the cold ocean water. It's what gives them that extra boost of speed and agility. Without motion, their internal systems start to fail. They become sluggish, and in a world where you either eat or get eaten, that's a problem. Let's pause for a second. What if you were a shark? How long could you keep swimming without taking a break? Think about it. No naps, no, I'll just sit here for a second. Just non-stop movement. Could you do it? Sharks have been doing this for hundreds of millions of years. But the question still lingers. Why didn't nature give them a break? It turns out, sharks are the ultimate ocean wanderers. Their entire design, sleek bodies, powerful tails, and even the way their jaws work, revolves around constant motion. Stopping simply isn't part of their plan. Now, here's where things get interesting. Some sharks, as we've seen, don't play by the same rules. While a great white has to keep swimming to survive, a nurse shark can just chill on the seafloor and take it easy. It's all about how they've adapted to their environment. For species like the whale shark, the largest fish in the ocean, they've developed a slow, cruising style of swimming. They're not darting through the water at lightning speed. Instead, they float through the ocean, filtering plankton and tiny fish, and taking their sweet time doing it. They've got the luxury of a more laid-back lifestyle. But the myth that all sharks die if they stop swimming? It comes from watching species like great whites and makos, the fast movers who can't afford to rest. 
they're the ones giving the rest of the shark world a bit of a reputation problem. Here's the part that makes sharks even more fascinating. Even though some species must keep swimming to breathe, they've developed ways to rest without completely stopping. Some sharks go into a state of tonic immobility, it's like a trance where they become still and unresponsive. Researchers have discovered that some species can rest one side of their brain at a time, allowing them to sleep while still on the move. So, in a way, they found a loophole. They're not completely powerless. Nature has found a way to keep them going. So, what's the lesson here? Sharks, with their constant motion and survival instinct, remind us of something important. Sometimes, in life, you can't stop moving. Whether it's chasing your goals, facing your fears, or just pushing through tough times, motion keeps us alive and thriving. Sure, we all need rest, but sharks show us that forward movement, however slow or steady, is key to staying on top. So, next time you feel stuck or overwhelmed, remember the sharks. Keep swimming, and you'll find your way through. But hold up, there's more to the ocean's wonders than just sharks. Ever wondered why the mysterious deep sea creatures glow in the dark? Or how some fish can survive in freezing waters without turning into popsicles? Stay tuned, because the ocean has more secrets to reveal, and we're just scratching the surface.